Hello and welcome to a new video uh, and at this one we're going to be looking at the NPC importer uh, for Fantasy Grounds Unity um, It's just been released with the latest update um, so I thought it would be a good time to have a, a good look at this Now we're actually going to start with Unity here we're actually going to start with uh, Notepad um, and we're going to copy uh, our uh, text from uh, our PDF and we're going to put it into Notepad and sort text out first so um, I've got monsters of the uh, multiverse here uh, and we're just going to copy in uh, a stat block for the uh, death lock um, and then I'm going to come down add a couple of spaces and then I'm going to just copy in the descriptive test the text uh, for the, uh, the same uh, NPC and just paste that into Notepad as well. Um, now you could use, um, uh, you don't have to use Notepad++, you can use any text editor for this, but this is the one I'm uh, using and I'm most familiar with. So the first thing you want to do if you don't have it switched on already is come to the view tab here um, and the make sure that show all characters is checked. If we uh, uncheck this, you'll see that all the characters, all the highlighted um, sort of line breaks and things that that disappeared. But we kind of want to see those. So we're going to switch them uh, back on. And this uh, is a visual clue as to where the uh, text is ending where there's uh, paragraphs and if we look here at the very first one up here we see damage resistance is necrotic bludgeoning piercing and and then we've got a line break slashing uh, from non magical attacks that aren't silver well we don't want that line break in there because uh, this is uh, all one sentence so we want to make this back to just the one sentence or one paragraph now if you don't sort this out then when you import it you're just going to get a mess so we're just going to highlight uh, the two lines there that should be a paragraph and hit Control and J. And that's going to get rid of that line break and make it a paragraph. Uh, and then we're just going to come down and we're going to uh, do the same with all instances of that that we uh, can see where everything is uh, stretched over uh, two or more lines uh, when it should just be uh, a single uh, paragraph. Now when we get to the spell casting one we have to be careful here we just want the first line here to be a paragraph and then we want the spells uh, the at will spells all on a, their own line and then we want the one a day spells to be all on their own line and if we had two a day or whatever we would have those as paragraphs so the spell formatting is the spell casting the description should be all in one line ending with a colon and then we have at will ending in a colon a list of spells one a day each ending in a colon and a list of spells so it's important for the spell casting to work properly that you get that uh, that right um, and we come down next to the descriptive text and we've got the same kind of thing here we've got several paragraphs that currently are just uh, lines so we're just again uh, selecting all the lines that we want to be in a paragraph and hitting Control j to make them paragraphs we then want to just get rid of all these um, spaces that are uh, at the beginning uh, of uh, some of these sentences here. So we're just going to come down and delete these uh, and get rid of them. So there's another couple of things that we need to uh, clean up before we can uh, import this uh, character. We're going to hit Control uh, F here to bring up the uh, Find menu in Notepad. And we're clicking on the Replace tab. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to look at uh, or look for is a dash with uh, a space uh, and we're going to replace it with nothing. So we're just going to make sure that there is nothing in the replace field um, and then we're going to uh, click find. Uh, and you can see that we've uh, found here uh, a space or a dash with a space in the middle of this word. And we obviously don't want that. We want this word to be um, without that. So we're just going to click on replace. Uh, we'll find the next one. Here we go here. And we just keep replacing uh, until we find. And here's one here. Now this is why we don't do replace all in this case. Is because we could find this situation here. Here we've got a space, uh, a dash, and then another space. Um, if we simply replaced all, then we would still end up with a word with a space in the middle of it. So this one we're just going to manually uh, delete uh, the bits that we don't want. 
uh, we're going to go to find next, find another one, uh, replace that, um, and it's found them all. Now we tell, it tells us here no more occurrences were found. So that's us cleaned up uh, all the uh, dashes with spaces that shouldn't be there. If we go back up to our find now, delete that, and then we're going to search for two spaces. So we're just going to hit the space bar twice, and then we're going to replace that with one space. So we just hit the space bar once, and this time we're just going to replace all. Click on that, and it tells us 12 occurrences were replaced in the entire file. So if you were watching carefully, you'll have noticed that up here the text jumped. So it got rid of all the double spaces and replaced them with a single space. So I'd highly recommend that you do your tidying up um, in, in something like Notepad uh, because trying to find all those double spaces or anything like that, uh, ch uh, checking the text in Fantasy Grounds, much more difficult to uh, read it in Fantasy Grounds to see that there is a double space than it is just to do find a place in Notepad. So I'd highly recommend you do that. All right, uh, we've uh, cleaned up our text uh, so we can uh, get rid of our uh, find. And we're going to uh, select the stat block here uh, and just uh, hit Control and C to copy. Um, and then we're going to go back into Fantasy Grounds. If we go to our NPCs tab, open up the NPCs, there's now a new a little blue box here which says Import Text. And if we click that, uh, we get the Import Text uh, window. Uh, we've got two sections, uh, it tells you place a stat block here um, and then in this one it says paste your description text here. Uh, so we've copied the stat block, so click in this box and then just hit uh, Control and V to paste it in. Uh, go back to our uh, notepad, select the descriptive text, uh, hit Control uh, and C click in here and hit control uh, and V and we have now got all the text that we need uh, imported so all we need to do now is click on the import button uh, and the basically the the, the uh, NPC is imported for you and it, it puts it all into the correct boxes the correct saving throws the skills the damage resistances all the languages, etc., the challenge rating, and then all the traits uh, go in correctly, uh, and uh, just everything is there. The spells are, are, are all there. And this basically, it follows uh, really the Wizards of the Coast sort of um, methodology of uh, uh, creating a stat block. Um, if you go back to our text, it just picks up on these words here like armor class for example and it knows what armor class is so it knows that whatever text follows armor class should go in there and it knows how to format it between the, the two boxes so it's very simple to use um, it just simply imports uh, whenever you just click that button provided that you have got everything correctly all uh, formatted and sorted out in a uh, notepad if I have a look at the uh, other tab, um, we'll see a couple of things here. The first is that it doesn't uh, bring in uh, the uh, these as, as uh, headings. And you'll also notice that it brings in a full stat block uh, in this uh, format here as well. Uh, now, the first thing we can do is we can actually sort these headings uh, here. We can just you know simply do uh, this uh, and hit Control and 2. Uh, and it'll make the headings for us. Uh, but you can also do this in uh, Notepad before you uh, import. Um, the, uh, <coughs> the importer will recognize uh, tags from a uh, parse, if you're uh, familiar with that at all, uh, and it'll also recognize um, HTML tags. Um, so, for example, if you wanted to make this a, a heading, then we are going to put in uh, the hash key and then an H and then a semicolon. And the parser will recognize that as meaning a heading. That's the, the, the parse symbology, uh, hash H uh, colon or semicolon. And if you wanted to use uh, HTML, now I'm a little bit rusty with HTML, but I believe that it's open brackets and then like H1 for heading, uh, close the brackets. And then at the end of this, you would uh, open uh, the angle brackets again 
uh, you need a forward slash and then h1 to show that you're uh, closing the heading. Um, you can also do this for other things. So, uh, for example, if you wanted to make this word here, warlock, if you wanted to make that bold, uh, we can uh, open angle brackets uh, B, uh, close them. And then at the end of the word, we can open angle brackets forward slash B and close the angle brackets. Um, and if we wanted to make this word, say, italic, for example, then uh, we do the same kind of thing. Only instead of a B, uh, we're putting in an I. Uh, so that you can format uh, the text in here, you can create tables, uh, you can uh, create anything that you like in here, you can format it all in uh, Word, or, or sorry, Notepad before you uh, do anything. So if we select this now uh, and hit Control and C, uh, we'll get rid of this and we'll actually delete it from here as well uh, and paste this in now and then click on import again if we go to our tab we can see that we've um, we, the, the headings have come in we've got our bold text there we've got our little bit of um, italic text there as well so uh, you can do that all in a uh, notepad before you import and the importer will recognize both the parse tags if you're familiar with those or HTML tags as well uh, it won't support every HTML tag, but it'll, it'll support the kind of tags that you could use to create things like tables, etc. Uh, and uh, bold, italic, and that kind of thing. Um, now, of course, there are some things that uh, don't happen. So if you, for example, wanted uh, to uh, add a, a portrait or a, 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 an image uh, to this, then you just go to your images. Um, obviously, these would have to be prepared in advance. Uh, and then just uh, drag that in, uh, tidy it up a bit, whatever. Uh, make that uh, bold, uh, change that. You know, you're just tidying things up to make it look uh, neat. Um, and also, of course, if you wanted to give it um, a, a token, back into our assets and tokens uh, into our campaign and just to uh, drag our token in to the uh, NPC. Now the tokens, you have to have the tokens if you want to use these uh, and if you're then going to be exporting these into a module for example then the tokens have to be uh, in the tokens bag inside the campaign file and you need to drag the token in from that uh, campaign file. So you can see when we opened it there we've got this token bag called campaign. These are the tokens that are currently in my campaign and we need to use the token from that bag if you're going to be exporting it and then the token will automatically export with the NPC. Now, one nice feature about the fact that uh, we get this stat block here uh, is that if you are creating um, something for a module or whatever, um, we can actually close this and close this as well, then we can uh, then create our um, builder manual quite easily. Uh, so if we open up our builder and go to a uh, new chapter and then we go to new page, uh, let's uh, give it a heading. Uh, we can then add in a, a text block um, or actually we'll add in an image block, uh, but we'll move that up. Uh, we can then copy our uh, descriptive text and just paste that in here. And Fantasy Grounds will preserve the formatting uh, for you. Uh, I missed the heading, but it doesn't matter. Uh, Fantasy Grounds is now the copy paste functionality within Elements of Fantasy Grounds now uh, retains all of the text formatting for you. So you don't have to worry about having to reformat this once you've copied and pasted it. Uh, we can open this uh, image here. We can drop it into our uh, image block. Uh, we can remove this link because it's no longer needed. Uh, you can tidy this up, obviously. You can change that and take out the uh, NPC bit. And then we can come down here. We can make uh, another text block and we can copy the actual uh, text block or the actions block for the uh, death lock. And we can copy this in here and paste it. Um, 
and then we can maybe tidy that up by let's say choosing another frame and you've now got uh, your uh, text block and you've got the stat block as well uh, into your uh, reference manual and uh, now you might notice a couple of things um, this annoys me it doesn't uh, it sort of it doesn't all list to things in the, uh, the sort of extreme left here. It doesn't sort of tidy it up because uh, XML adds in extra spaces. But you can fix this with a little bit of extra effort. If we just uh, delete that space and then delete again so that it's now uh, all in the one line. If we hold down shift and then enter, and then we can uh, come back up here and get rid of that. You notice that this jumped to bold text, so we can just select that and make it not bold again. We can do the same here. We can position our cursor there, uh, press delete a couple of times just to get rid of the extra spaces, uh, hold down the shift key and press uh, return. And then we can come back up and just get rid of the uh, bold text that was added in where there shouldn't be bold text. And now you've got your line of um, text is all lined up uh, nicely along the uh, left hand side. So that's a little bit, you don't need to do it, but it's a little bit of tidying up. I like to do it because it doesn't look like you can see the same kind of thing as is happening uh, with this list here as well. Um, Okay, I, I think that's uh, it. Um, I can't think of anything else. Uh, but oh, uh, the, the one thing, yes, the spell casting and things like that, it uh, doesn't show you the uh, list of spells uh, in the character sheet. But don't worry about that because when you put it into the combat tracker, then the uh, spells, uh, oh, the wrong button, spells are all listed here uh, ready for you to uh, use it in combat. We have the player's handbook open here, so um, if, if the spells are in the player's handbook, then they'll they'll automatically come in. If, if you've got some spells that are in another book, then you'll need to have that book open for uh, this to uh, work properly. So, uh, okay, uh, I think that's it this time. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now.